Hello, today I'm going to show you how you can change the background color from this to that or any other color you like. Let's make a new document, set the width to 800 pixels and the height to 500 pixels. Click OK. Now change the stroke to none and the fill to whatever color you want your background to be. Next select the rectangle tool and click on the top left corner until you see the word intersect. Now hold and drag your mouse down to the bottom right corner. When you see the word intersect, release your mouse. The width and the height values that you see in this little gray box should match the values of your document. In this case, it should be 800 for the width and 500 for the height. If you want to make sure that this background is the exact size as your document, open the transform window and make sure that the width and the height values match the size of your document. For example, if I change this orange background to be a little bit narrower, you can see the change for the width number in the transform window. To fix it, just type the correct value for the width. Before you start to create your artwork, it is a good idea to lock the background layer to prevent it from shifting. To do that, press the Ctrl and 2 buttons on your keyboard. Now, when you go to the Layers panel and open the sublayers, you can see that our background layer is locked. To unlock it, Press the Ctrl, Alt and two keys on your keyboard. Let's lock it again. And now you are ready to create your artwork. If you decide you want to change your background color again, first select the background layer and then press the Ctrl, Alt and two keys to unlock it. With the background layer selected, change its color to whatever you like. You can also change the background color to the same gray color of your interface. To do that, select the eyedropper tool and click on this gray color. You can also change the background color to any color on your monitor screen. With the eyedropper tool still selected, click on the artboard hold and drag the mouse anywhere on your screen to get a sample. Then release the mouse. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.